What, what are the doctrines that you look for that are essential? And, and that is a very good question, Charles, because there are some doctrines that they're not non-essential. No divine truth is non-essential if you want the full range of divine revelation and the full scope of divine blessing is distributed through all divine truth. But there are some doctrines that are not necessary for salvation. One of them that comes to mind might be the form of baptism. Some sprinkle, some pour, and some immerse. That's not a salvation issue, biblically speaking. Um, there are some doctrines that have been established in terms of how a church is run. Uh, there are varying views on how a church should be structured. There are people who differ on spiritual gifts and how they function. Those are not essential to salvation. But when you're thinking about essential doctrine, you're thinking essentially about the drivetrain of salvation. So what is that? Well, just to summarize it briefly, it would start with the authority of Scripture. The authority of Scripture is an absolutely essential doctrine. Because if you do not believe in the authority of Scripture, then you don't know that you can trust what it says, and all is lost. So, the most important of all doctrines is that the Bible is the Word of God, and it is absolutely authoritative and inerrant. So that's where it starts, to believe the Bible is the Word of God, and only the Bible is the revealed Word of God. That is number one. Now. If you think about it, that is the very doctrine that is most under attack in the society. Because the enemy knows that, Satan knows that, that if you can undermine people's confidence in God's Word, everything is lost. That's exactly what Satan did in the garden, didn't he? When Eve said, well, God said this and God said that, and he said, did God say that? No. God didn't tell you the truth. You're not going to die. She believed the lie and catapulted the whole human race into sin, corruption. So everything starts with believing in the authority of Scripture. From there, you look at Scripture and say, what are the essential doctrines in Scripture? First, God, the nature of God. The writer of Hebrews says, he that comes to him must believe that he is. In other words, you, you, you come to God only when you come to the God who is God. So you have to have what is called theology proper. In studying theology, we start with the category of bibliology, the Bible is first, and then we go to theology proper, which is the study of the nature of God. That's the second very essential cardinal category of truth. So if you, for example, deny the Trinity, you have invented a God who is one, and that's not the true God. You're calling him God, but you're worshiping Satan, or you're worshiping demons. False gods are concoctions of the kingdom of darkness. So you have to come to the true God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one in nature, three in persons, the God who is revealed in Scripture, the true God. Then, in understanding the true God, you, you need to understand the role of the Father as the Creator, the Giver of life the role of the Son as Redeemer, the role of the Spirit as the power for salvation and the power for sanctification. So a Trinitarian understanding of God. Then you come to Christ. What do you believe about Christ? That He is virgin born, that He is God and man. He is fully God and fully man, truly God and truly man. That's who He claimed to be that he lived a sinless life, that he died a substitutionary death, that he rose from the dead, and that was the Father validating his sacrifice, the Son in whom he was well pleased. The validation of his having accomplished our redemption is the Father raising him from the dead, that he ascended into heaven, and that he reigns there and will return again. The other thing that is essential is to believe that salvation comes by faith alone in Christ, through grace, and not by human works. So when I talk about the drivetrain of salvation, I'm saying you start with the Bible, the, the true understanding of Scripture, 
true understanding of God, the Trinity, the true understanding of Christ, his, his perfection, his perfect life, his substitutionary death, his bodily resurrection, his ascension, his return, and that salvation comes by faith in him. That is the category which we would say is absolutely essential doctrine. 